Well, we didn't get the big snowstorm, but we did get a storm that was disruptive and a pain in the ass. Good morning there, Pat. And uh, that was the word I used all last week. Disruptive. It was. Uh, it, we we got we got six inches of snow, five to six inches of snow around here, uh, and then it turned to rain, and 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 we thought, okay, so but then the temperature never got above freezing, and yesterday morning when I was in here working, Pat, because it was a storm, uh, the temperature went from twenty eight, from thirty two, to twenty eight, to twenty six, and it was still uh, misting a heavy mist outside. Uh, and the roads just were uh, were horrible. The t- nothing the crews could do after you have six inches of snow and then you get the rain on it. Once you get the slush on it, uh, the ice just forms right away. Oh, well, you know, that's what we're talking about, flash freezing and the whole bit. Uh, and again, snowfall totals fell below uh, what we predicted because we had the mixing and the changeover. But that was also predicted, but not to the extent that it happened and as quick um it was supposed to take a lot more time so that's why uh, some of our precip was spent in the liquid area and not the snow area but needless to say look at the temperatures this morning no pat it's it's seven below here seven below zero nine below at pittsfield uh two below at hartford uh so it is just frigid and with the wind uh, wind chills are well below zero. Uh, today, highs 10. And we're looking for partly sunny with the icy winds continuing. For tonight, five below to five above. And not as windy. For tomorrow, a sunny day. Not nearly as harsh. We go to the mid 20s. So uh, if you're going into the city tomorrow, you better wear that chinchilla coat of yours. I'm going in. I'm going into the city. I'm going to the city tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. But, you know, I was surprised this morning about how bitter cold it really was. Uh, and what makes it feel bitter cold is we, we go through these stretches where we get cold weather and then warm weather, cold weather, warm weather. And, yes, we've had some temperatures around zero. But when I looked at my house, when I left my house, it was seven below. I hate to think what is at my house now because uh, it's seven below here. Um, but we're getting reports in. It's funny, eight below, six below, uh, seven below. But then, Pat, you're going to love this. We've got to travel north. You know why? I mean, well north. Weathersfield, Vermont is only three below from Catherine okay. Silta. It's only three below in Weathersfield, Vermont. Now, why is that? <laughs> Maybe because snow. I don't know. I mean, they probably got more snow than we did and I don't know. Maybe that whole, maybe it insulates it. I have no uh, idea. Burlington is snowing right now and six below at Burlington. And Montpelier is nine below. Well, so, we, so, we gotta go, uh, so we just have to go to Kathy's house then because it's only, it's only, it's only, four, it's only three yeah. or four below there at Kathy Silta's house in, in Vermont. Uh, it was unbelievable. Yeah, and that's why I emailed you yesterday because uh, <laughs> the amount of snow was so sketchy. Did, they match, was, did, did it match up with what you thought happened? No, uh, no. Uh, I mean, Albany picked up 14. Yep. Uh, and I had reports from New Hampshire of up to 16. Um, my my gut for us yeah. was 12, between 12 and 18. Yeah, That's but what I, I thought. It was a pretty, it was right, right around six, seven inches around here. Some people at the higher elevations had seven, some had five inches. But like Pittsfield had about a foot, right? Uh, Pittsfield, yes. Yeah. Um, but still, I mean, it fell short. But uh, again, um, it's computer modeling. We'll just have to see how they do the rest of this week. And now there's a warm front approaching Wednesday. And be- as it gets here, uh, we're going to have a wintry mix initially because it'll be cold enough. But then now we'll go over to rain. A lot of people say, rain? You know, you can't believe it when it's below zero this morning. But uh, by Thursday, we'll have periods of rain. Uh, I don't know if that will end as a little wet snow. It could, but no big deal there. And then on Friday, the next Arctic cold front approaches. And we'll get snow showers. And then, of course, that'll bring in a new batch or a renewed batch of Arctic air for the weekend. Any, After that... Any any, any, any storms on the, on the horizon? Now, here's the thing. I see evidence, and so does the European. So does the Canadian. Of a storm 
in the Gulf states over the weekend. And it looks to me like if everything just came into sync, that storm would just come barreling up the coast Sunday or Monday. You know, so we're looking at the 27th, 28th. But the new American GFS model saying, absolutely not. It's going to get left behind. The Arctic air is going to plow through the northeast, leave the storm in the Gulf states, and then maybe it'll try to come up like sometime next week, you know, last week in January, uh, the 28th, 29th, 30th, uh, maybe. I don't know if I buy that. I don't know if I buy it. I think the European may be on to it, but um, the European was not on to this situation, I have to tell you. If you recall, the European was giving us, yeah. uh, you know, over two feet. In fact, earlier last week, the European was giving some places up to 29 inches. It was only um, Friday that the Europeans started backing off snow amounts, which is a day ahead of the storm, or a day and a half ahead of the storm. Uh, so, And they backed it off, but not enough. And then Saturday, they definitely came out with the best forecast when they said for places like New York City and Long Island, no snow at all. But it took them till Saturday uh. before they, they, they pinpointed. So uh, I'm, not, um, I'm not terribly convinced with any of the modeling this morning, uh, but my gut is telling me we do have to watch this coming Sunday and Monday. All right. I have to watch out for those days. for. Yes. For, now, uh, folks, in the midst of this whole storm, you know, because I'm in the weather center back and forth Saturday and Sunday, what does Marshall send me? <laughs> the new Godzilla clip. The, the trailer. Yeah. And and while it looks real good, I still don't like the way they make that monster look. I think he looks too fat. I like it. I, he's Godzilla. King of monsters. I don't know. I like the old Godzilla. And then, and then we've got uh, the, the Godzilla versus King Kong, which is going to come out, I think, about six months after that. Godzilla is the rage again. I'm glad. Also, from Pat's Movie Corner... Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. I watched it over the weekend. It was excellent. He was fabulous. Um, the whole thing was just, just great. And um, I could see why it's up for a lot of awards, including him, the best actor. I certainly like that movie. You know what I, I watched heck, over the I weekend? I have a lot more than the stars, more. I, you know, you know what I watched over the weekend? And huh. I really enjoyed it. Homeland uh, with uh, uh, with uh, Julia Roberts. Uh, I watched the whole, it was, it was like six episodes. I watched oh, the whole okay. first season. Very, 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 very good. Really, um, There's a yeah, lot. Yeah, I watched, um, I watched, what was the other one? What's the one? Um, I can't think of the name. About Cheney? Oh, uh, Vice. Right. Um, I thought it was good. I just, she just brought back bad memories. Uh, <laughs> that's all I can say there. Uh, but I thought the movie was good. And the other movie that I watched that I really wasn't wild about, Black Panther. I liked Black Panther. I liked it. I wasn't wild about it. I wasn't wild about it, but I liked it. I like. Yeah. There's not a Marvel movie I haven't I haven't liked. Uh, yeah, and, well, it's Marvel, right? And, exactly. They, uh, yeah. And and I and I think uh, I think I, I I liked it. I I enjoyed it. I yeah, enjoyed I got to watch I, these movies uh, because I have to vote. Yeah. And they and I have a a, a bunch right now. I got to watch the one with uh, McCartney, the one that she's, uh, oh, she's a writer. She and she's great in that. That's a serious role for her. Yeah, I know. I want to watch that one because that that uh, that was sent too. So um, maybe I'll get a little respite this week, as it looks, and uh, I'll be able to watch some movies. Well, hopefully, we, you deserve a respite. Yeah. And uh, folks, going out today, you better bundle up and don't stay out there too long because uh, frostbite with the wind chill. Don't worry. I'm not going to. <laughs> Neither am I. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Pat. I will check with you. Manana. You got it. Bye, Marshall. Take care. Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center with a check out our tri-state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.